Hi there. Um, here I am on the Michigan Electronic Libraries webpage. Uh, MEL is awesome because it shares resources among everybody who lives in the state of Michigan, and that includes a really amazing uh, service called MELCAT that is a shared um, book and other library material service where you can search across what all of the public libraries and some of the academic libraries hold in the state of Michigan and you can request them and we all participate in a shared delivery system which means that wherever they're coming from across the state of Michigan you can pick them up at your local library and the best news of all is that the University of Michigan Dearborn Mardigian Library right here on campus participates in this program. So you can request materials here and then bring them right back to us when you are done. Your local library most likely also participates in MEL, so you may also be able to pick things up at your local public library and return them there if that's more convenient for you. But this website is where you do all of that regardless of your pickup location. So here's how to get started. I am at the webpage for MEL, which is mel.org. That's it, mel.org. Now here is the search bar. It is somewhat in the middle of the page in this blue area, and it says search Melcat for music, books, and audio, and more. So all you have to do is type in what you're looking for here. I'm looking for a copy of The Giver. I can find out whether it is available. In the results list, you'll notice that you actually do have some ways to refine. So if you're looking for a particular format, um, sometimes you might be more interested in an audiobook copy, for instance. Sometimes you might want a physical book. Sometimes you'd like the DVD. Um, whatever it is, you can select that here. You can also limit by language, um, location and the year published. If you happen to be looking for a particular edition, sometimes it's nice to specify and weed out all the ones you do not want to see. If you see the result that you want, you can get more information by clicking on the title. This will give you a summary. Uh, there are often details about what the item is and what might be included. So if you're not sure or if there are a few entries that look similar, this will give you a clue about which one it is that you want to request. And if you scroll down, you'll see all of the places, all of the libraries that have a copy, and you'll also see what the current status of that is. So if you see available, that means you can go ahead and request it. If you see missing, it means that you can't request it because they can't locate that copy. If you see a due date, that means that copy is currently checked out. Um, while the due date is a pretty good guideline of when you might expect to get it back, it's not perfect because, as we know, not everybody returns their books exactly on, by the due date. So um, you might not be able to get that um, in a timely manner. And finally, you might see that it's not requestable. Some copies in the system, while they are at the physical library, are not requestable through Melcat. Uh, sometimes if you if you go in person and you have permission to check things out at that particular library, you can check it out in person, but you're not able to request it through the system. So if I'm pretty confident that this is the thing I want, all I need to do is click get this from Melcat. This will pop up a window that will ask me to log in, and this is where I have to decide what my pickup location is. So if I'm deciding to pick this up at my local library, I would choose my local library from the list, and then I would put in the library card associated with my local public library. But if I want to pick it up here at the University of Michigan um, Dearborn, I would select University of Michigan Dearborn. I would make sure that my name, my, my first and last name, are typed in there. And then I'm going to make sure that my eight digit UMID card number, that it's on your M card, is typed in. Now I click submit. Okay, sometimes at this point, you will see that you have choices about which library this comes from. My only advice is that if you have the choice between a rather local 
library and a rather distant library that you choose the more local one because these items do have to get put on a truck and come to us and sometimes they can be a little bit quicker if they're coming from less far away. So if you've got a library in the UP and a library in the town next to you, pick the town next to you. It might be faster. Okay, once you do make your selection of which library it's coming from, uh, you may click this request selected item button and you should get a message that your request was successful and will be delivered to the library that you selected when it's available. This um, just starts the process. As I said, it has to go on a truck. So you'll get an email from the University of Michigan when your item comes in. It could take a few days, maybe three days or four days. Um, if you are not hearing back, this is the time to jump over and check your account with us to see what the status of your request is. So here's where you do that. If you come to the main Mardigian library page, which is library.umd.umich.edu, it should look something like this. You will click on this my account with the little person icon in the maze bar at the top and log in like so. First, click that you're a student, faculty, staff, or alumni, put your last name in the box, put your eight digit UMID, and your PIN number. If you don't have a PIN number yet, I've got a separate video where you can learn to make one. Now I click login, and this is my account, so this will be unique to you, and it should say your name here and not my name, but you can see that um, you, you've got some circulation information. So right now it would show you what you currently have checked out. I don't have anything checked out right now. It will show your requests. So that's my Melcat request right now. And um, if you want, you can also look at what you've um, done before. And also you can change your pin here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on my one request. And then we're gonna see that right now I've got this copy of The Giver by Lois Lowry. And the status is Mel requested. And it's telling me that the main desk, the, the main user services desk, uh, sometimes we call it the CERC desk, is the location. That's the right, really big desk right when you come in the library. Now, if I'm like, oh no, I didn't mean to request that, I can cancel it right here. Um, I can just check it, cancel, and say, yes, I wanna cancel it. And then it will stop it from coming. So if you accidentally request the wrong thing, don't panic, you can, you can change it. Um, this is also the place where you can potentially renew your books. Um, if you want to renew your books, we have some renewal information back here. Um, and you can always, always, always call the circulation desk phone number, which is 313-593-5559. If the library is open, there is a student assistant at the desk who can check on your account and see what's going on with any of your holds, any of your renewals. So please don't hesitate to call and check on any of that at any time if you don't see it here. Um, it's really, really important that you remember to return your Melcat books on time because the fines can get a little ridiculous on the Melcat books. And so please try to renew your books and bring them back on time rather than pay those fines. We would much rather that you don't have any fines to pay. If you have any questions or any problems, or you just want to know more about Melcat, I'm happy to answer all your questions. Please give me a shout and I will get right back to you.